Yeah, I made a video and my microphone was muted. Yes, it's getting better here. All right, take whatever. I'm going to talk to you about something called Baba BD Proc Hot. Now, a lot of people are asking, well, is there an option to disable BD Proc Hot? And uh, you never want to disable this feature in the first place. Now, let me explain what it exactly is, because a lot of people, for some reason, think this is thermal throttling, which it's not, okay? This has, this has something to do with the thermals of your CPU in some way, but not always. So, this stands for bidirectional processor hot. And what this basically means is... Um, well, if your process is hot, this gets triggered. However, it's bi-directional. So what does this mean? This means if other components are getting too hot, let's say the VRM providing power for your CPU, that it will also get triggered. And this is the case with Exotic Chris. He has a really weak four-phase motherboard with an eight-core CPU from Intel. Every overclocker understand what I just said are now officially smacking their heads on the desks and are actually wondering how this guy has not catch fire yet. Well, it's very simple. He luckily did not play games like Far Cry 5, which have also an ABX load. And yeah, that would have been really interesting to see how that would go down. Whatever. So, before just thinking, oh, this is solving my... Pr by disabling a security feature, this is going to so solve my problem. How about you maybe figure out why it's being triggered in the first place? Because obviously, if your CPU is not getting too hot, well, what is getting too hot? What is causing this? Is my Intel GPU getting too hot? Is my VRMs getting hot? Is my is my uh, uh, I don't know. It could be anything really. Um, and the way you want to figure this one out is you can use something like uh, HW Info 64. It also has a portable version, which does not even require you to install that damn thing. Yay! Use programs like these, figure out what is causing this, what is triggering this, and then fix it normally, like, uh, you know, the actual root of the problem, before you, you know, burn your house down and give your neighbors a good, nice flame for their, you know, marshmallows, and, I mean, it could be a great time, but after that, where are you going to sleep, right? Alright, so, um, please don't disable this feature, now you know what this is, um... If you need help, ask Reddit, ask some uh, forums maybe, or even, hell, you can join my Discord, hey! So yeah, you could uh, join Discord, it's linked below, I don't know if it's finally gonna stay with the permanent link or if it's gonna change again, because, well, it's frankly kinda annoying that it changes, oh well, I'm really bad with Discord, whatever! So let's go with the other thing, quick CPU, now a lot of people actually had issues with this, um, alright, so... Here we go, quick CPU. Now a lot of people uh, transitioned to quick CPU. They did not did not go well. They said it didn't work. Blah blah. Um, because you probably used this wrong. So I'm gonna show you how to use it right. So uh, we go to advanced CPU settings, right, and make sure you take every ap apply on application start. Apply it here. Apply everything you need. Put your settings down. The whatever wattage you want, whatever CPU time you want. Um, you speed shift, have the settings down, the FIVR control, put the settings down. And this one is a little different. Uh, you want to go to create profile. First you want to apply, then you will create the profile. You select the things you've applied, which you've changed. You add those to the profile, like bop, and then make sure this one is ticked. Press on OK, it'll give you some confirmation box, like, oh, do you really want to do it? You say yes. You click on apply again here. Um, in my case, obviously, it doesn't do anything, so there we go. And then it will be applied and it'll actually run. However, you also want this program to run on startup. So you go to options, start application on system startup, startup system tray, and minimize the system tray. Now, let's test this. How are my temps? Da 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 da. Damn it, I suck with this goddamn fucking. Gah! This is not kid friendly. So you want to run sensors. This is the program I talked about, HW Info 64. Um, to get a CPU load, I like to use something like Cinebench. Um, so yeah, here's my laptop uh, with my CPU. As you can see, it runs the frequency I want, the voltages, and then obviously my temperatures here. 
I go ahead, open Cinebench. It's a free tool. You can use it. I run the test and guess what? I can see it runs stable. Oops. Voltages are fine, are absolutely perfectly fine. The load is 100% and temperatures are rather high. What the fuck? Why are they so high? I need to repaste this shit. All right. So, you know now, booyah, it worked. This is how you check if it actually got applied or not. And once you confirm everything is working, well, then you close everything down and you call the day. Damn it, you should not have closed it down. Okay, when it comes to quick CPU, you don't close it, you actually minimize it. Oh well, my bad. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, don't hate on me. I, and um, yeah, you know, uh, please don't disable security features and, you know, break your stuff. You, you, you want stuff to survive. You don't want to break them. Yay. All right. So uh, have a good one and uh, have a good day, evening, and or whatever time of day you have right now. Salabi.